Hello, welcome back to Brandon Switch Live Learning. In this episode, I will be sharing with you this simple robot creations uh, created using geometry nodes and also spread chalk. It's super simple. As you can see, this robot is made up of similar parts. So, first of all, we have this body torso. And I'm going to show you. Okay, we can control the arms and the, the position of the arm. And I could actually make a little bit make changes like for example make this longer and I need to adjust it over here inside geometry nodes so yeah this is a uh, super basic but I'm gonna show you okay originally it's just like a, an object that's being stacked sphere box and another sphere um, the cool part is of course I can make changes uh, to each one of them and because this is like a stack object in Sphere Chalk uh, we can adjust the size things like that so it should update um, the, the arms and the body is put together using geometry nodes so if, so if I go backward I, I think it's easier to explain uh, inside geometry nodes originally this is just like a default cube can rotate, scale, etc. And inside it, I have this collection info. This collection info is looking at this collection of geometry from Sverdjop. Okay, so this is uh, this is the body. It doesn't have any relationship with each other. Maybe in the future, this is just version zero of this robot. I have control over the rotation. So this robot, at least this robot can make like a signal, you know, like making a pose. It's super basic, but so I can scale it there. But in, in order to make this simpler in term of design, I just keep everything like box or sphere. Of course, at any time I can, I can change the shape. It should uh, actually adjust everything correctly. So you can see um, because it is this. I'm using this align mesh by mesh node, and this will create a stack. So imagine you're creating like a simple robot, just made of sphere and boxes. You can actually come out with a lot of different variations if you if you set it up um, to be that way so at the moment it's not 100% perfect but you got the idea at least I can make I can lengthen the body but since we are using the same parts for the body in this case we need to always adjust the position of the arm okay so that's a uh, maybe call it like limitations at the moment because I'm using the same parts but anyway you, you can also build the leg inside geometry nodes if that's what you want we can make the, the original the bottom part bigger like that you can see this guy the body the torso is actually changing It's pretty interesting looking. The cool thing is, of course, because geometry nodes are able to, you know, make duplicates easily, you can always add extra parts like the maybe the leg but we need to control the the position of the z axis and we need to bring it up we could extend the objects this way but 
because it's doing a scaling it doesn't look nice being stretched like that so maybe we don't want to do that maybe in the future we have like ability to stack objects inside geometry nodes maybe using its bounding box or something so for the leg for example this is the the same object added but we want this to be opposite and we also need to translate it in the opposite way so yeah it's a different character already all right so yeah i think that's basically pretty much it it's like a little bit like a match stick you know you create a character using this method but anytime really you can replace this with other objects like a cylinder for example and see the different results you get maybe remove this fractal for this There we go. Yeah. Anyway, have a play with this. Maybe in the f in the near future, I'll make uh, an adjustment, an improvement into this character. Uh, I think it should generally it should work. You know, like a, it's a little bit weird because we are using the same objects for the arms and the legs. But imagine if you have the torso and the arms and the legs, even they're just made up of different, you know, like stack objects, like the what I did in the previous video with Mokujin. Uh, you might come up with a with an with an interesting character design. This one is a little bit weird, but this is how I started with. It always looks weird at first. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully this is useful. Thanks uh, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.